o'clock. Aunt Martha should have been here an hour ago. I'm starving to death. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Listen to this, Pat. An asteroid suddenly changed course and is expected to strike the Earth. It's actually supposed to hit in the next few minutes. Give me that. First off, it says it could hit the Earth. Like, I could hit you, but I won't. And second, it's this big. And furthermore, hmm. the chances of it hitting either one of us on the head would be a gazillion to one. Understood? It's time for tea, and if she's not here soon, I'll have her cake and eat it too. <laughs> Asteroid! Ah! Hmm. <laughs> huh? <gasps> it's, it's the mama asteroid looking for her baby! Like home or Kansas. Hmm. Stan, so where are we? The asteroid hmm? tore through the center of the Earth. We landed on the other side. We're in China? No, more like the antipole. We're at the polar opposite of where we started. Wait, I have no idea what you're talking about. You sure it's not China? I'm craving Mushu pork. It's me. Hello? Patrick! Stanley! How they spoil me preparing my tea. Oh. Boys, you upstairs playing blanky wanky? Carrots? But those aren't peas. They look familiar. They're us. How are you? You're easy on the eyes. Hey, are we related? My skin's so smooth and indigo. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It's a mirror. Watch this. And ta-da! Don't you see, Stan? It's only our reflections. <laughs> I wonder if I can get him to pick my nose. Let's see. I have a bad feeling about this. Stan, relax. They're inviting us to lunch. Oh, yeah? Since when do you speak their language? You still struggle with English. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe just a sandwich. Boys, enough now. This is getting boring. Come out, Stanley! Whoa! I don't want to seem rude, but could I have mine without parsley? Don't worry about the garnish, because you and I are the main course. What did you say? I said we're the meat that goes with all those vegetables! These people have gone to a lot of trouble to make us lunch, and all you do is get paranoid. <laughs> I won't need a doggy bag because I'm on a diet. Where are you going? Don't leave! You know how I hate to eat alive! So there you are! That rodent neighbor of yours has been digging holes in your backyard again! I had a very nasty fall. You need to speak to her! No, Stanley, you don't look well. Are you warm, feeling feverish? Feverish? No, but they've given us a warm welcome. I didn't realize you organized a family gathering. Uh, hello, I'm Stan's Aunt Martha, and you? <laughs> Well, I have a much better figure. It's getting hot. 
<laughs> My nephews, potluck soup! Hear me! Your Earl Grey goddess of high tea and ice cold chai lattes! Don't overcook those pale beasts you have simmering over there! I prefer them stirred, not shaken! They're done! Now I want to picnic by that big hole I came through! I like to look down while I'm chowing down! <laughs> Stan, mm. the last time I heard Aunt Martha howl like that, we used bleach on our favorite undies. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> it's time for lunch. <laughs> Let's go now. It's the end of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, try boiling a chicken. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 The cake you made gave me a nightmare, too. Anything new in your batter? Maybe like sleeping pills? Besides chocolate, flour, eggs, and butter, I added cream of anchovies and pickled lard. Oh, I think I'm going to vomit. What? No banana? Oh, I forgot. For extra flavor, I added sliced sausage and a cup of grated Parmesan. It's the three CHs. Chocolate, cheese, and chorizo. Oh. 